Oh, the bass stop. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, say it again. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, sorry about that. That's no, okay. Uh, you know, the um, the the idea that uh, you were filling, you know, Herbie's yeah. chair. You know, yeah. in. Well, well, Her Herbie was a Herbie was a, uh, a a hero of mine before we met because he he got started on the New York scene before I got there. And he was already playing. He was already playing with uh, Donald Byrd, uh, and uh, he actually he actually started making his own recordings really really early, like 1960 or, or 61. And, um, Watermelon Man. And and yeah, and actually, actually, the interesting thing is, is that um, my first gig with a name group was with Mongo Santa Maria in New York in 1960 or so, and I played with Mongo for about a year. Was he um, doing Watermelon Man by right then? I'm coming to that. That's all right. So uh, and uh, and Herbie replaced me in Mongo's band, and that's when he made Watermelon Man and so forth. You know. And then we became friends, and he had his his whole uh, stint with Miles in the '60s. And then uh, the story I got, well, the Herbie told me later on, is that um, in 1968, um, the band was Miles's band was beginning to change around, and and Herbie uh, uh, got married, and he had a honeymoon in in, um, in Brazil with his uh, newlywed wife. And he and Gigi were down there, and he, he got food poisoning and uh, got laid up in a hotel. So I got a call uh, from Tony Williams, who was a friend of mine from Boston, because we're both from Boston, Massachusetts. And Tony said, uh, Miles wants you to come and play. Uh, call him up, here's his number. And that's how that happened. So I called Miles up uh, on the phone. I said, it's Chick. Uh, uh, yeah, he said, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess I'm going to play with you in uh, Baltimore. I said, yeah. I said, is there going to be a rehearsal? He said, nah, I'll just play with you here. Mm -hmm. And that was my, my first instruction for Miles Davis, just play with you here. And, I, and uh, actually, I went in that first night in, in Baltimore in this club. with uh, Wayne was there, Wayne and Miles. Um, Tony Williams was playing drums, and Dave Holland was, had already replaced uh, Ron Carter. And uh, a lot of a lot of the Wayne Shorter tunes that the quintet was playing, I didn't really know what they were. But the way the band was playing in 1968, they would they would state a theme, and then pew, be off into some other universe right away. So then I thought of Miles's instruction, which was just play what you hear. And that's what I did. So I, I, I shattered myself through the first set. Uh, it, wow, I went up to the bar and afterwards and got a drink to calm down. And uh, Miles came around and whispered a compliment into my ear that I can't repeat in public. <laughs> so that, it was a glorious beginning. And, and Herbie, Herbie remained... Uh, uh, still is to this day a uh, 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 big inspiration for me. Thank you for bringing up Herbie. I think we have time for like two more questions.